All right, this week I'm gonna be making $2,000 on DoorDash. Notice I did not say I might be, because we're going to be. Never had a plan B. I've never ever had a plan B. <laughs> but yes, I've done this like twice or three times before maybe. But back then I also had a crippling no sleep addiction and a crippling caffeine addiction. And number two is probably a cause or effect of number one. This week we're gonna be trying to do it on nine hours of sleep because if I don't, I might have a mental breakdown. Yeah, let's get to it. So it's Monday, we're gonna be going until Sunday and it is currently about 10.30 and I'm already clocked in. Let's get to it. My handy dandy charger. Don't wanna forget this or else you'll be screwed. One thing worth mentioning, if I was getting say five hours of sleep on average every single day of the week and I'm working every single day of the week, then I'm losing five hours a day if I'm sleeping nine hours or four hours, four hours a day. That's 28 hours that I'm losing. So I'm gonna have to work significantly harder in order to make up for the lack of hours. But on the bright side, I should be able to enjoy myself significantly more and not be miserable. So let's see how we do. Basically the week is set up. So I've got seven days. I'm expected to make more on the weekend. So I'm doing, my schedule is 250 for every weekday uh, besides Friday. And so that's 250, so that's a thousand bucks for the first four days. And then the last three days is, or Friday, Saturday is 300, and then Sunday is 400. So that's 2,000. Um, it is pretty realistic. Uh, 250 is gonna be tough with the amount of time that I have on the weekdays. Let's see if we can do it. I'm planning on being able to make more at the end of the week, because, well, that's just how it goes. If you do DoorDash, you know. Right, two things I want to keep in mind for this week. One, or it might be more than that, I don't know. I'm just kind of rambling. But, I'm gonna be patient, so that's one thing I've been working on, because a lot of times I get impatient just in general with everything, uh, and that doesn't help at all. Um, basically, we just want to set up the weekend with the weekdays, so we're gonna be getting as much sleep as possible, so that way we can keep a good mindset going into the weekend. Up if we need to uh, get less sleep so we can get more hours and just bang out the caffeine so we can get as much done as humanly possible and we can really bring in that last couple dollars that we need in order to hit our goal. Now I'm gonna go work, I'll check in with you guys in a few hours. And literally DoorDash three things of chapstick. Ridiculous. But that's what I'm here for. I won't let you down. you know you've entered Queen Creek. So it is currently 144, I guess that would make it, it's been like three hours. Uh, we've got 75 bucks. We've been doing pretty good for a Monday. Um, it'd be close to $25 an hour, but I think it's a little bit less than that. But I feel like I'm gonna die because I haven't ate any food and we need to go get gas. So we're gonna take a little break and get back to it. out about that chipotle kids meal that's gonna be my new shit bro it's only five bucks you get all that good food and it's actually healthy it's not like because i was thinking about getting panda express but i was like i can't do that brother i'm gonna fucking want to take a nap after that shit I, I think that's the move all right so it is currently 3 11 p.m and the shitty part about working this time is on a weekday is that it will kick you off and you can't work even if you want to which is kind of annoying because I don't really understand the downside from a business perspective, like for DoorDash itself to have too many dashers online, I guess. I don't really see the downside there. But now we wait. As soon as I took that, we got back on. We've got a shift scheduled till seven. And basically you can extend the shift or yeah. And um, when you're working on weekdays like this, you want to just check like every five minutes and just try and extend it because it'll just randomly let you sometimes and sometimes it won't. So you just keep checking, keep checking, keep checking so you can get that super late shift so you can keep on working so you can keep on making more money. <laughs> All 
right, y'all, it is currently 7.09 p.m. I got a second wave of energy from my second Chipotle of the day. Let's freaking go, baby. Uh, we're like a little bit over two thirds of the way. I wasn't confident before we will hit our goal. We're still not super confident, but it'll be close and it's worth a shot. Bro, I shit you not, it's funny as soon as I start making this video. First day, I just got a tip, 100 bucks. Bro, they were like, I now wanna, I'm not gonna say what I think this dude does for a profession, but I go to the house, dude meets me out front, and there's like eight like nice ass cars. Uh, and I was about to just dip out, and he's like, let me get you a tip real quick. He pulls like a wad of hundreds out of his pocket and hands me this. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? That's sick as fuck. That's gonna make hitting the goal even easier. Even though I really wanted to see the 2000 on the DoorDash app, so he might just try and hit it anyways, but this will make hit, hitting it technically much, much easier. Let's fucking go, bro. That's lit. Nighttime, I low key just be having a good time. Like, I'm getting paid to just drive like a regular law abiding citizen and <laughs> listen to hella jams it's just a good time and there's less traffic or at least traffic you can get through and i'm about to get a green light later guys raced some i just raced some honda accord in traffic and i barely beat him I, I feel like he had some weird mods going on there making me feel funny about my self-confidence i'm just kidding but yeah that's kind of funny also we got like one more good order and then we're heading home can't believe we made it this far. This is only one day out of seven, but we're just gonna stay present, keep doing what we gotta do. Let's fucking go, baby, let's go. Oh, let's go, boy. It always starts recording like a second after. I press the button, so I'm like, let's go. And then it starts recording, I'm like, let's go. Anyways, it's 10.01, we officially hit $252. Uh, we started working at 11 i think so that would be 11 hours so it'd be roughly like 22 dollars an hour i think which is pretty good um probably better than usual on a weekday it honestly felt pretty easy for a weekday sometimes it like drags like a motherfucker so i'm just gonna keep going for a little bit longer until basically it won't let me go anymore so that way i can just get a little bit of a head start so in case um i need a little bit of a booster on the other weekdays um i won't have to make up for it i just already have a little bit of some extra space to use up one thing that kind of sucks once it's nighttime um or like 10 o'clock basically is a lot of places shut down inside so you have to go through the drive through so that's when it kind of gets starts getting weird because then there's like no places open and it's drive through only so all the drive throughs are super packed so it's like not really worth it if you got to wait like 15 minutes to get in order but we got lucky at this Taco Bell. It's like a couple minute wait. All right, what's up, y'all? It is 11:11. Make a wish. If you're sitting at home watching this video right now. Make a wish for me, and I hope it comes true. Anyways, it's 11:11. We ended up with I believe $284, which is pretty damn good for a weekday, and that gives me a pretty you know, not that much of a buffer, but a little bit of a buffer for tomorrow and the next weekdays in case I'm just having a rough day or something happens um i've got a little bit of wiggle room there but yeah proud of what we've done today i'm gonna go eat some food maybe if i have time play some basketball at the basketball court and get some good night's sleep we'll be back at it tomorrow up and at them all right what's up y'all it's 11 15 it is tuesday second day of the week got a little bit of a head start and uh, my sleep was not perfect last night, but it was good enough. And we're gonna get up and at them. Today we're just gonna start and try and stay present, get after it, and get right to it. <laughs> that is the 10th ancestral tenant, actually. Um, it is staying present. And the only way it's achievable is by taking 300 milligrams of D-ball per morning. But yeah, we got lucky and we got an order uh, before we even left the house, which is always nice. So we're gonna go do that. Let's get fucking to it. All 
All right, y'all, it is currently, um, I don't know what time it is, because my car goofing around with me. It's currently 1.30, we're at like 50 bucks. Got a Chipotle order I'm about to go drop off. But, um, so I accepted the order and then I um, ate at Chipotle real quick. Basically, I ran into my dad. I was just sitting outside eating my food and my dad pops out of the corner. He's like, hey, son. I was like, what the heck? Not once have I like ever ran into my dad in public. I think I've ran into my parents before, but that's hella funny. Had a nice little chat. Now we're back on the grind. I feel much better now. I got some food in my system. I'm about to fuck shit up, make some freaking money. Freaking trying to stay present. That's like my goal of the week. The tenth ancestral tenant is to stay present. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It is 3.33, make a wish. Um, we are currently at like $102, which is a little bit over halfway. Um, feeling slightly confident in hitting our goal. Uh, it always seems far away, but uh, we did it yesterday, so I don't see why we can't do it today. Uh, just kicked me off, um, so we gotta wait till we can get back on. There's a car behind me. I don't wanna piss him off too much, so I'm gonna get back to driving. Alright, what's up y'all? It's 6.30. Um, I'm feeling pretty good tired wise, but I am a little bit hungry, so I'm gonna stop and get some Chipotle. Uh, we're currently at like $169 out of 250, which is like a little bit past two thirds of the way. Not sure if we're gonna make it today, but technically we're where we wanna be at because we should be able to hit 500, um, which is our goal for like Monday, Tuesday. Um, so yeah, cause I wanna get home by like 10-ish, like an exercise a little bit so that way I can get some better sleep and hopefully have an even better day tomorrow we can really kill shit so i just picked up an order right now i just dropped off an order right now and a fellow light-skinned brother picked up <laughs> picked up the door and he said that he does the same shit for a living he was telling me uber eats pays more and i never tried that one so i guess i gotta try that out now but I'm in too deep for this challenge, so <laughs> we're, we're sticking straight ahead on DoorDash, but uh, it's definitely worth checking out, and that was a hella good order. I got like 20 bucks on that one. A little bit far, but definitely worth it. We got like 45, or maybe even 40, 40 more bucks to go, and we got two hours. Definitely doable. We just got to stay focused, stay present, kill it. What's up, y'all? Forgot to film a little outro for Tuesday. It is currently 11.30 p.m. Played basketball for like 10 minutes. I did. So I missed. <laughs> this is totally random and not having anything to do with the video. But I missed like 10 free throw shots. So when I say I'm playing basketball, I mean I'm missing, I'm missing shots because I'm just horrible at basketball. But then I made three in a row, which is unheard of. Like even in the NBA, like like half the time they won't hit three in a row which is kind of crazy um but yeah in terms of door dashing uh we ended up hitting 254 so we smashed our goal uh, i worked until like 10 o'clock which is right where i wanted to be at now we're just gonna hit our bedtime routine i got a little bit of sleepy time tea i got some extended release melatonin some magnesium and eat some food might take a hot shower we'll see what happens Hopefully get some good rest for tomorrow. Definitely felt a little bit harder today than it did on Monday just because I felt a little bit tired all day. But we got the job done and we should be able to do the same tomorrow. And since we hit our goal today and we went over on Monday, that puts us at like 538, I think it was. So we still have a little bit of wiggle room to mess up if we need to. Hopefully we don't need to, but if we do, it's there. Let's go. We got this. It's going to keep on saying present. I know I've probably said that 20 times, but... It's very important when you're going for a lofty goal like this because if you're thinking about the end goal, it can become overwhelming. So we're just taking it one step at a time. All right. Good night. Catch you guys tomorrow. All right, what's up, y'all? It is Wednesday, 11.30 a.m. About to head to work. We are currently in the car wash. Got to look fly for the day. 
and uh, feel much better rested than yesterday. I did get this uh, like long lasting melatonin. Hopefully you guys can actually hear me, it's pretty loud in here. Uh, but I think that allowed me to get more deep sleep like later into the night. Could be in my head, but um, I think that's true. I woke up feeling a little bit more tired, but like I feel more rested also. So once I get a little caffeine in my system, I should be A-OK. -okay. Got a little Black Rock fuel, shout out to my mom. And let's fucking kill it. Uh, yeah, the only difference today is I'm gonna be getting lunch with my girlfriend, so I'll have like a little bit less time. What's up, y'all? It, what is up, yo? It is 3.45, gonna pee my pants, just waiting for some orders. We're currently at like 67 bucks, which is not good, but I still have faith. I'm fucking laser focused until we hit this goal today. So, um, yeah, we're just gonna keep at it. Um, we've been doing pretty good. Um, I just got decently late start and I ate lunch with a girlfriend uh, and that was like an hour. So a little bit late start, but like I said previously, we've got our um, pillow there. I don't know, I forgot what you call it. Little barrier for us to fall into. So we should be good either way. Just gonna keep on grinding. Complimentary cigarettes, that's pretty nice of them. <laughs> All right, so right now I'm getting like no orders and there's hella traffic and it's a little bit frustrating, I cannot lie. So I'm gonna go get some Chipotle, hopefully raise my spirits a bit. Hopefully we can get some good orders. It is 8.25, I'm very tired, uh, my, at least mildly tired and very hungry. I got this pineapple fried rice at home that I would love to just eat some of right now, but we got like 65 bucks to go and we're gonna hit that shit, so I'm just gonna keep on grinding. What's up, y'all? What's up? Uh, it's like nine o'clock, I just got home. Uh, I sat at like our busiest spot for like 25 minutes or maybe like 20 minutes, no orders. So I guess that's it for tonight. I don't know how that's even possible, but whatever. Uh, definitely a rougher day. We got like 182, um, which is like 70 bucks short, which definitely is not good. We did have that $30 buffer, so we only really need to make up like 40, which hopefully we can do tomorrow. I think I'm gonna wake up a little bit earlier so we can make up that money easier. But yeah, not great, but we'll kill it tomorrow and make up for it. All right, what's up y'all? It is. 7.35 in the morning, uh, Thursday, I believe. Yeah, Thursday. <laughs> um, we're just gonna fucking kill it today. We got like four more hours of daylight. I'm using my pent up aggression, or er, pent up uh, resentment about how yesterday ended to uh, push me into today. Got like seven hours of sleep. I honestly, I took melatonin like an hour ago and I was gonna sleep some more. So I've been trying to get really good sleep, but seven hours is enough and I couldn't fall asleep. So I was like, fuck it, I'll just go work. So here we are, let's do it. Stand present, let's kill it. It is currently 10.32, pretty much just been getting this whole time. Uh, it's been like three and a half hours that I've been working and I made 30 bucks. There's just no orders and I'm just getting fucked. Like I got like a Chick-fil-A order and it was like a lunch order and it was like still breakfast time, which is just obnoxious. <laughs> it's almost lunch time, hopefully it picks up. My favorite things ever is when people tell you they're like hey i don't have a gate code which is already obnoxious because you live in a gated community you don't have a gate code why do you not have a gate code and then they're like just call this code and then i can buzz you in and they just don't answer the phone like bro what like what were you not expecting me to actually come what is going on so annoying
right, little update for you guys, it's about 5.44 and I'm pretty sure we're already past where we were <laughs> at the end of yesterday when we finished, so we should be able to hit the goal. Um, definitely a little bit more tired today, I just feel like I would rather be doing anything other than this, but I'm committed to the goal and I'm not going to be a pussy, so we're just going to keep on going. This guy in front of me is going 38 in a 45. So I'm going to pass him, even though I'm literally recording myself. See, that's how this is going right now. Also, it's like rush hour traffic, which is the most horrifically boring thing. Because you can't not pay attention or else you'll crash into somebody. But you can't drive fast and it's not any fun. So you're just bored and have to pay a lot of attention. Not a good time. We're going to get through it. Traffic should die down in like an hour. We'll smash our goal out of the freaking park and we go home, get some good food, get some good sleep, do it all over again. Alright, so we got like 40, 30, 40 bucks left, I don't really know. I'm so fucking tired. I'm literally just taking the easiest orders I can possibly take, like no apartments and just super easy stuff. Luckily, the roads have calmed down, so it's not as stressful driving around. Uh, I'm about to go eat because I'm literally starving. I haven't ate since like two o'clock, I think. <laughs> it's been like six hours. It's currently 7:44. But also, I just want to mention to you guys a uh, piece of advice: if you're <laughs> trying to save as much money as possible, or you're just struggling or whatever, make sure you check like apps for fast food places um like mcdonald's has a thing right now where they have a 50 cent double cheeseburger which is obviously like that's basically no money it's free double cheeseburger but like uh wendy's used to have i don't know if they still do it but they used to have like a two dollar or three dollar and you would get like uh breakfast fries and like a breakfast sandwich which is like way cheaper like if you were to do that anywhere else it'd be like seven bucks or some shit so Keep your eyes out for that, and I'm just gonna keep on grinding. Bro, <laughs> I'm just driving, I just dropped off a pretty fire order. Uh, but, bro, I'm driving, right? And I'm going like 55, and I noticed the car in front of me is like braking, and like for no reason, cause like, it's just open road besides the car in front of me. And there's like cars to the side of him. And then I just see him braking hella hard, so, Luckily I break like I that wasn't even like a mental thought in my head. It was just my body just did it. And bro, I swear to god I went to like 55 to 0 in like a millisecond. <laughs> and the, I just see this fucking car. I think they tried to make a U-turn like from the like the right lane of the right side of the road all the way to the left in a in a busy street like there were like six cars in like the group with me and we all go from like 50 to zero in like half a second because this fucking idiot is just trying to do stupid shit now, i don't want to be ageist but i mean at some point i mean i didn't see what they were but every time i fucking see some stupid shit on the road and i'll go to drive past them and it's always an old person even earlier i was with g we were hanging out i got an order at chick-fil-a and oh, this person trying to U-turn. I'm not gonna go, brother. Don't worry, bro. And <laughs> this old guy. I haven't, mind you, I haven't moved. I'm just in the Chick-fil-A parking lot. It's like a crowded parking lot. I haven't moved an inch. So like, I was basically in park. Like my foot had not moved off the brake. And this motherfucker just starts backing into me, which means he did not even look like at all. Like. I was directly behind his car and hadn't moved. So he did not look in the rear view. He did not look in the side mirrors. He does not have a rear view camera. He just said, fuck it, I'm going. And so I'm just holding the horn. And luckily he stopped. Like I thought I was about to watch my car get crashed into in fucking slow motion as this old fuck just backs into my car. So, I mean, I don't want to be ageist, but like, <laughs> I enjoy being alive and it seems like the people that are trying to kill me uh, on average is old people because they're just being negligent because they're too old to have the reflexes to be able to drive 
at the rates that everybody else has agreed to drive at. That's just a little fucking rant for you. I don't even know if I can put that in because it's kind of ageist. But, yeah, fucking obnoxious, bro. Like, bro. Like, if you can't pay, like, a little bit of attention, you need to get off the road. I don't care who you are. I know, we like, everybody has their moments. But, like, bro. Like, there are moments and then there's you just being negligent trying to kill multiple people on the road. Anyways... Uh, I think we have like 25, 30 bucks left. I have a Burger King order. We're going to go pick it up, drop it off. Like, like, honestly, I've been vibing right now because I've been getting pretty easy orders. So, yeah. I got a little soft serve <laughs> going to soothe my rage. This video is going to make me look like I'm a massive rager and I just have a rage problems, but it's only when I'm driving for whatever reason. I'm generally a very nice person, so at least as far as I'm aware. Maybe I... If you ever talk to me, it's possible I could just unleash and rage at you. you. Never know. Finished my ice cream. That shit was honestly busting. Best dollar fifty I ever spent. Crazy. I paid three times as much for that ice cream cone than I did for that cheeseburger. Anyways, uh, ignore the seatbelt thing. I will definitely put my seatbelt on. I'm just in the neighborhood. And I feel safe without it. If I crash and I die in this neighborhood, then so be it. I would like my ashes thrown into the ocean. <laughs> but, uh. But I literally forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, yeah. To keep the, my rant, my rant rampage going. Why do people make their house numbers, like, weird and interesting, bro? The entire point of house numbers is to make your house easily recognizable. That is the only purpose. And. When you mess with it, it destroys the purpose. So it's just purposeless. I mean, I guess it's still helpful, but not to the extent it would have been if you had just made it look normal and legible. Dumb. All right, what's up, y'all? Uh, it's 9.52, I think I'm about to head home because I'm not getting any orders anymore. I was gonna try and get a head start on tomorrow so I can sleep in a little bit more, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. It is Thursday night and it's pretty late. And everybody's probably going to sleep. Uh, we ended up with $269, uh, which is pretty good. We hit our goal. Uh, passed it by like 20 bucks, which is good. Not quite enough to make up for yesterday, but just by like a shade. We're just a tiny little bit under a thousand bucks. So that means we have another thousand bucks to make in the next three days. I think we should be able to get it. Usually Saturday and Sunday is big money days. And yeah. Um, tomorrow might be a tougher one. I feel like Friday is like similar to weekend traffic wise or like order wise, but it also has the traffic of a weekday. So we'll see how we do, but I'm about to go head home, eat some food, go to sleep, get back to it tomorrow. Hey, right, what's up y'all? It is officially Friday. Um, it's 11 o'clock. I'm um, feeling good today. I slept super good last night, which isn't surprising because yesterday was an adventure. I hardly had any breaks. Um, <clears throat> so I'm feeling good, ready to work. Um, surprising, I'm at, I was excited to work because after last night, I was like, I don't want to do this shit again for a week. Um, yeah, I woke up feeling really good. And there's a person next to me. And my lips are headed out. I'm not extremely confident in hitting my goal today because our goal today is 300 and it's already 11 o'clock. <clears throat> but I'm excited to get out there, have some fun, try and kill it. I'm gonna stay present, just focus on one delivery at a time. I did want to take today to basically just kind of relax a little bit, get good sleep because these last two days are most likely gonna be hell. So that way we can just keep our happiness levels relatively high as possible. And that way we can leave it up to the last two days to really clutch it, clutch it up. Run. 
serving you best wishes, Michael. I hope you get better. <laughs> Alright, what's up, y'all? It's 3.47. I'm at like 105 bucks, which isn't great, but I feel like on Fridays, typically, I don't know if it'll be like this today, but most usually this time of day, it feels like I'm making zero progress because there's so much traffic and so many people everywhere, and... I'm getting just regular mediocre orders because it's a Friday still. Plenty of people are working. And I'm getting like fucking 12 bucks an hour because it'll take me like fucking 45 minutes to do one order. But, which is honestly obnoxious. It feels like it would be better in my head to just go home and wait. But obviously, I've done this many times and it definitely isn't. This just kind of pads our nighttime. Because uh, you can probably make tw twice as much money at nighttime. But, um that's still nighttime alone wouldn't be as much as afternoon and nighttime obviously so just gonna keep on grinding it's kind of fucking annoying right now honestly but i'm just gonna keep on keep moving forward shout out tj hunt so unfortunately my screen on my civic decided to stop working for whatever reason so I am currently musicless and backup camera list, which is not sick. I've gotten a little bit too used to the backup camera. So hopefully we can figure out how to fix this because it's not working. Nothing. <laughs> oh, it looks like it's doing something. It's back. God bless. What's up y'all? Quick little update. We're currently at 2.36, just gonna keep going. Uh, as expected, um, it just gets way easier uh, when it's Friday and it's late at night. It's less traffic, the orders don't drop off like the rest of the weekdays, and basically you can just keep going and you can just get to your destination way quicker and there's way less people everywhere. So yeah, it's been nice, just gonna keep on grinding. Um, I'm really not like super tired, so feeling good. Just gonna keep on moving, see how far we can get. Also, I just got gas and I forgot to film it, so maybe I am more tired than I thought. But it was 40 bucks, two cents. Almost 40 bucks exactly. If I would've got that, I would've started screaming and jumping up and down and I would've ran into the store and started setting stuff on fire. I mean... What's up, y'all? I'm officially done for the night. It's 10.19, I'm basically not getting any orders, so we're done. Um, I think I'm at like 1,200 something. Uh, so we hit 250, which was not our goal for Friday, but is our regular goal for the weekdays. So we're gonna have to do 378 on Saturday and Sunday. Um, I think we can do it. We're just gonna have to grind our asses off. I'm gonna be getting up at 5 a.m. So, I mean, since I've been getting up at 10, that's an extra five hours a day. So it's 10 extra hours, which is a good amount of time. Also, I've already worked 60 hours this week, which is fucking absurd considering I still have two more days to work. So we'll probably hit at least 80 probably close to 90 hours which is fucking insane um yeah i literally haven't done anything else this week except for work and sleep and sometimes a little tiny bit of eating a little tiny bit of youtube <laughs> that's it but yeah we're about to head home get a little bit of sleep and then probably bang some caffeine and get right back to it All right, what's up, y'all? It's 5.25 a.m. Uh, I believe we're clocked on uh, going to Chandler instead of Gilbert. And we're just going to go kill it. Um, it's definitely a lofty goal, so I'm a little bit uh, anxious about it. But we've done 500 on a Saturday before, so I believe we can do a 380 or whatever it is. So let's get to it. We're going to kill it. Stay present. Let's go. Just considering I only got two hours of sleep, I feel pretty decent. <laughs> uh not as bad as I have felt some days previously. I'm guessing just because I've been getting good sleep all week, it's kind of holding me over until today. And I've also got a pretty good caffeine tolerance right now because I've just been having like a cup of coffee every day. So I got a G Fuel, got 300 milligrams of caffeine. That should get me going pretty, pretty good. <laughs> For fucking sure though is that it is cold as fucking balls out here
It is 7.38, I'm about to eat my oatmeal. I let it just cool off a little bit. We've got about $40, which is um, all right, I guess. Um, you know, sun is finally coming up, God bless. It's kind of depressing, like the first two hours, just like pitch blackness and there's nobody out and it's just kind of emo vibes, but yeah, feeling good, gonna get some food in my system. Definitely could use it and back to work. All right, it is 8.04 and I am tired as fuck. I don't know why it just hit me, but I am tired as a motherfucker. And I'm not getting any orders, so I'm bored and tired and therefore I feel like I'm gonna fall asleep. It is 8.35, as of right now I'm getting Um. Yeah, so I was in one area and I'm literally online and it had been legitimately like 30 minutes and no order so I'm like what the fuck so I just left that area I'm back in my normal area and it won't even let me log on to work so basically I'm just getting right now and yeah so I just get to sit here and wait until I can actually fucking work alright what's up y'all it's 11 11 I've made $50 it finally has let me back online if I'm able to make at least $350 today, which is probably the minimum in order to hit my goal of 2000 it will be a fucking miracle because it's already almost fucking noon. I've made 50 fucking dollars. I've been up since 5 in the fucking morning and I've made $50. Fucking ridiculous. I just went home because I was like, like, what the fuck am I doing? Uh, but yeah, I'm going to give this a shot. Here we go. <laughs> All right, what's up, y'all? It is 1.45 right now. Um, turns out a G Fuel and a medium fuel from BlackRock is the key to not feeling as tired when you got two hours of sleep. Shout out to Wyatt for the BlackRock hookup. And... Yeah, we got like 70 bucks right now. We're trying to get to 300, so we're like one, almost a third of the way there. Um, I don't know, I'm feeling kind of lucky, you never know. Just gonna keep on pushing, keep our eye on the prize, but not too much on the prize because it's kind of overwhelming. <laughs> so eyes off the prize and just uh, focus on focusing more on one thing at a time, staying present, trying to enjoy myself as much as possible on two hours of sleep. And feel like I should eat food but the mall is crazy crowded I think it's because Christmas is coming up and it's like insane traffic and it's like 146 so I just don't want to even go over there so yeah just gonna keep on moving forward shout out TJ Hunt all right meow all right I just finished eating it's 307 my brain is so fried. Usually I'm like, go, 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 listen to music, blast music, drive fast, get shit done. Right now, I would rather be doing anything else in this entire world. <clears throat> but I'm not a pussy, so I'm going to keep on going. So I'm just going to put on an audiobook. My audiobook of choice is Shoe Dog. I've listened to it like eight times all the way through. If you haven't read it, listen to it. Listen to it. It's good. Um, yeah, I hate when restaurants are drive through only because, you know, what's the point? Let's turn it into a Dutch Bros if you're not going to have a lobby. You're just wasting property. <clears throat> but yeah, just going to keep on going. Thank fucking God. We just got peak pay, which is like $2 plus on each delivery, which is freaking huge. Alright, what's up y'all? <laughs> Look very tired, because I am very tired. It's uh, 10.46. Uh, I have like $280, I think, plus 50 that I had this morning. So sort of like 320. I want to get like 30 more dollars before I head home because I feel like 400 is approaching the maximum limit of what I'll be able to do tomorrow. Uh, so hopefully we can get home by like 12, 12.30, get a couple hours of sleep, get back to it. Yeah, this is fucking insane. Uh, I want to sleep. I want to eat. 
Uh, I would still rather be doing anything else. Well, I don't know. It's kind of fun, I guess, in a in a sick and twisted kind of way. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm tired as fuck. Really want to go to sleep. But we got like 30 more dollars to go. Um, got a seven dollar order right now, so we got like 23 after this. Just kind of slowed down. I was vibing for a minute. Uh, today was definitely very hellish. Um, it was the most busy Saturday I've ever worked ever and with the no morning time money that just absolutely screwed me like usually on a weekend saturday sunday i'll be able to hit like 300 this is when i was taking a one hour break at lunch too i would hit 300 by like six or seven and hit 300 until like two hours ago like eight o'clock which is still a freaking miracle considering that i basically did nothing this morning so yeah, I'm still hopeful for tomorrow. Usually Sundays have like no traffic or at least uh, man manageable traffic. But yeah, even the mall was crazy like to where you would just be sitting there because it was so backed up, like not even moving. But enough of me bitching and complaining. This Red Robin smells hella bust. So I'm not going to lie. I'm going to have to sneak a little bite. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to drop this bad boy off. Keep her moving, brother. Yeehaw! Not finished? Not not finished. You half happy or? Stay to be happy about. You're up too old. Job's not finished. Job finished? I don't think so. Rest in peace to go. Um. <laughs> It's currently 5.36, we're up and at it. I'm feeling juiced up, I'm not gonna lie. I was feeling like shit last night because I was so fucking tired, but right now I got a feeling like this is actually possible and that's got me juiced up. Uh, we're about to go get some freaking, a shit ton of caffeine in our system. I don't even know if I need it because like I said, I'm juiced up. But yeah, we ended up last night, I didn't even make an ending to the video because I was literally so tired, I was about to fall asleep on the drive home through with the local police department. Uh, that was just a joke I meant. I was talking about in Minecraft, but um, I forgot where I was going. Whenever I start goofing off, I lose my train of thought. Um, oh yeah, we ended up we ended yesterday with like 1590. I was trying to get to where I would only need 400 today, uh, and we're pretty much right there. I need like 410, which uh, I have two two weeks uh within like the last three months where i've done 400 in a, in a sunday and i was looking at those stats so i should be able to do it today assuming nothing crazy goes wrong i'm already logged in which in the area where i actually like to work so good start we're just gonna get after it and yeah stay present jam out to some music let's get shit done Alright, what's up y'all? This Sunday has been super good so far. Uh, it's actually been fun, <laughs> believe it or not. Uh, when there's no traffic and orders aren't taking like 10 minutes uh, of waiting per freaking order, it's actually fun. So we're just whipping around, bumping music, mostly Disclosure. Shout out Disclosure, if you know, you know. If, if you kia. And if you will, if you kia. And yeah, we're just grinding. I think we're at like I'm honestly guessing I'm not even really keep, keeping track. I'm just grinding. But I think we're at like 170 right now. Which uh, is pretty good. It's 12.34, so we're about halfway through the day. Maybe a little bit less than halfway. Um, I think we'll be able to hit this goal. Not going to lie. Uh, so we're just going to keep on grinding. Yeah. I literally have not taken like a single break. I freaking ordered a smoothie earlier. And I thought I was getting a smoothie. And then... <laughs> they drop it off and it's just an acai bowl and I was like what the fuck because I asked for like I looked at the smoothie menu and I said the smoothie thing but the guy at the end was like do you want agave on top I was like yeah sure fuck it why not I'll take it I 
now it makes sense why I asked if I wanted it on top because I was like, why would it even matter if it's a smoothie? Like, it, I can just <laughs> mix it in. But, yeah, it makes sense. And then uh, my girlfriend got me some noodles and company. And we just ate that in the car. It was super delish. So, yeah, we're nice and well fed. I haven't had any caffeine, which is absurd because the last two days I've gotten, like, two hours of sleep. So, over the past 48 hours, I've had four hours of sleep. But I think... Uh, just being close to the goal is like enough to keep me motivated right now to be honest the good thing is if i don't drink caffeine which it's totally chill if i do but if i don't then i could actually get good sleep tonight instead of having to wait until tomorrow basically anyways let's grind let's get it Woo! bro <laughs> i actually made the 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 mistake of going to target right now i didn't think about it it's christmas holiday or like getting near Christmas. A million fucking people in there. I got stuck in the self-checkout line for like a fucking hour. Not actually, it's like 10 minutes, but still inconvenient. <laughs> but there was like legitimately like a hundred people just in a giant group near the Starbucks. And just like white parents. <laughs> I, I don't know if they all got Starbucks and they are just waiting. That's what it seems like. But that was the most absurd thing I've ever seen. It looked like a riot mob except for... They were just chilling outside of the Starbucks, inside of a Target. Ridiculous. What's up, y'all? Sun is finally starting to go down. We've got like 115 left to go. We still have probably four more hours. Um, she's definitely uh, pushing it a little bit, but I think we got this. Gonna stay focused. I just keep on thinking of the Kobe Bryant uh, job finish. Job not finish. <laughs> I'm gonna put the clip in here for getting in the getting in the mamba mindset right now but yeah we're just gonna keep on keep on moving sorry there's probably not a lot of clips of me actually dropping stuff off because i'm literally just going as fast as possible on every aspect of everything so yeah hopefully we make it all right y'all we're steady we're, what's up y'all <laughs> steady grinding we got 50 dollars left job finished job not finished not gonna believe this shit let me i got something to show y'all bro check it out the last motherfucking order of the week right here should put us at precisely 2,001 dollars and 50 cents we fucking did it it's 909 but we haven't finished yet so i don't wanna uh, job ain't finished but you know what i mean wait i'm gonna start this clip again in a second i think there's a cop up here <laughs> so that is the last order i'll probably end up making another update just to recap everything tomorrow but hopefully you guys find that inspiring in some sort of way uh this is one hell of a week for me i've literally besides hanging out with my girlfriend for like one hour max each day and some days not even hanging out with her i've literally done nothing but work all week uh so i mean just goes to show if you want something bad enough uh and you work hard enough, you can make it happen. Uh, and also, it goes to show, like, how much it counts when you're working towards goals to have, like, a thing where, like, you're hitting it every day. Because, like, as of last night, I was like, man, I would just give anything to sleep for, like, eight hours right now. But it was like, I've already done all this work to set myself up for tomorrow. Like, it would be fucking stupid to just give it up. So, I feel like just setting yourself up for the beginning really helps. But, yeah, proud of myself. Um, I wasn't sure if we were going to make it, to be honest. I mean, we still just made it by the skin of our teeth. Because usually on Sundays, past 9 o'clock, it starts getting a lot less busy. And everything's closed by like 10 o'clock. So, I think we got a little lucky. But just for the record... I did kind of just do this for fun. Uh, I don't think this is sustainable whatsoever. I mean, you'd have to be absolutely insane to do this week after week after week. But if you could do that, I salute to you. You could probably fucking accomplish anything. I'm probably going to be taking at least a fucking day or two off or at least, you know, but I have the best fucking sleep of my life. I can watch some YouTube actually see my friends you know, it was my girlfriend for longer than an hour I can actually hang out with my family 
watch TV, watch a whole basketball game, don't have to listen on the radio. It's like freedom. Probably rambling at this point, but I really do think it helps to just try and stay present and set the goal, figure out what you're gonna do, and then like don't think it think about it past there. Just think about the small steps because like when you really start to think about it and overthink about it, like waking up this morning thinking like I'm gonna make four hundred dollars and when I'm doing like six dollar orders, I'm like when you really think about it, you're like, how the fuck is that gonna happen? But then you just keep doing it and you keep doing it and then it just starts adding up and it's like holy shit like we're gonna make four hundred dollars today and i swear i've done it so many times at this point like three hundred dollar days but it's like every single time in the morning i'm like if i really think about it i'm like there's no fucking way i'm gonna be able to make this happen and then by the end of the day i'm like yeah i've done it 20 times like obviously i can make it happen here we freaking go ladies and gents got some celebratory chipotle for myself while i was there and just like that that's a fucking huge relief off my back and now we can fucking log off see how much money we made which should be two thousand and one dollar and fifty cents ish according to my calculations if it isn't <laughs> we better not be under two thousand else i might actually lose it and yeah, I'm pretty tired, pretty hungry. I haven't eaten like nine hours. I was gonna say something else. Uh, oh yeah, and see how many hours we worked. Cause I was already at 80, and that was before like this 10 hour shift. So we're probably at like 90 fucking hours, which is literally insane. Let me record it. Numbers are absolutely absurd to look at. I can hardly believe that <laughs> I've actually done that. I've been trying to focus on more recently too. Uh, it's just trying to enjoy the process and putting myself in a position where I can enjoy the process because before I would like just not get sleep and like bang hella caffeine just to be able to get more results when I would hate the entire thing and then like right now I'm very proud of myself for reaching that goal but it's not like I'm in some sort of euphoric state after reaching the goal it's just almost more of a relief that it's over with um, so yeah, I feel like enjoying the process is very much the actual important part, more so than hitting the goal. Well, hitting the goal is also sick, but if you can enjoy the process while you're doing it, that's even better.